Hi there my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited, so pleased to let everybody know that I've been invited to be an ambassador by Derwent. Um, it's, wow, yes, it's like Christmas come early and it's only August. Um, so Derwent have sent me a little package. I don't know what's in here at the moment. Um, yeah, we're going to go and unbox it together. And then whatever is in here, I'll be creating some reviews for moving forward. So let's get cracking. Let's grab a knife. Okay, so. Whew. So it's like a child in sweet shop. Um, I'm just, just grinning like a Cheshire cat. So, uh, so they're, at the moment, they're in the process of uploading all of my details onto their website. So I'll have a page on their website as um, a Derwent ambassador. So, wow. Okay, so removed um, the details with my address, obviously, because I don't want... Well, you never know, do you? Just don't want my address going public. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of packaging and let's jump in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to remove the cellophane wraps from each item and then I'll put them back in the box just so you don't see me <laughs> struggling with a load of cellophane, which is uh, they do a clear cling film uh, wrap with each product. So I do already have quite a few Derwent products, but um, these ones in here hopefully are things that I haven't got already and hopefully will complement the products I've already got. So, right, I'm going to grab my glasses, bear with me. And back again. Okay, so the first item, let's have a look, see what these are. Okay, so it's the Derwent Colour Soft. Not tried these, I don't have these already. Tin of 24. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, 24 colours. So we've got white, greys, black, some earth tones, lime green, some greens, blues, purples and lilacs, pinks, reds, orange, sort of a yellow ochre. And that looks quite a limey one, acid yellow. So yeah, that's closer to the green colours on your colour wheel. So these are a mix of oil and wax. Uh, pigment binder um, yes and so the thing is everybody reaches for the bigger sets now with a set of 24 you you can do just about anything because with a coloured pencil you can either layer them up to create different colours or you can blend them with things like um, mineral spirits and what a mineral spirits does it dissolves the pigment on the paper or on a palette and enables you to mix extra colours. So 24 colours is a great amount to get started in a colour pencil medium. So, yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Ooh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful colours. Looking forward to trying those out. So that's the Derwent Colour Soft 24 pencils in a tin. Okay. So I'll just pop those to one side. I'm going to pop them on the floor, make sure I don't tread on them. Okay, so the next box we have is Derwent watercolours, 36 pencils. So I have worked with watercolour pencils before um, in different brands. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. If you are working with any water soluble medium, you can use it with your other mediums as well. So you can use your water soluble medium with acrylics and with coloured pencils. Um, and obviously you can use normal traditional watercolours and gouache with the watercolour pencils too. If you're going to use them with something that is wax or oil based though, make sure you pop your water-based products down first and then you can layer on top with your wax and oil products not the other way around okay so let's take a look so again it's a tin try and get into this so if you buy anything like this there'll be a cellophane cover 
that I've already removed so it keeps them nice and secure and we've got the white greys um, blue grey black lovely range of earth tones olive greens more of a limey green going through to teal colours through your blues lilacs and purples into your reds pinks that one is actually pale peach oranges and reds and yellows so beautiful um, array of colour there and again these are all mixable so you can mix even more I mean the amount of colours you could mix from this set is just endless 36 36 colours absolutely beautiful and they're nicely shaped as well it's a hexagonal shape so less likely to roll off your work surface absolutely stunning beautiful colors so i'll pop the lid back on there and put them to one side and see what else we've got beautiful how many times can i say the word beautiful in one unboxing video so the next we've got graphite tint paint pan set and I have removed this once to get rid of the cellophane wrap because nobody wants to see me wrestling with cellophane wrapping. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's a plastic box, a little plastic box, and um, with a mixing area. It's a proper little paint palette. And they've sent a little swatch. So you'd receive this swatching with every little set. We've got autumn brown, russet, meadow, green grey, slate green, ocean blue, steel blue, dark indigo, aubergine, juniper, that looks nice, port and graphite grey. So this is water soluble graphite tint um, and that's what it is. It's a water soluble graphite. OK, with all my water based products or water soluble products i always swatch them out because when you're swatching out on the paper that you actually use yourself they can look a little bit different and also by swatching them out yourself you can see how opaque or how translucent something is how well they glaze how well they lift different things like that but that's great because obviously they all look pretty muted in their little pans so that is great knowing which one is which and I will always keep them in the same order as well so I don't know if you can see that with the lighting that I'm using but there is they are quite shiny obviously it is graphite but I'll be interesting to see how shiny they are once they've been um, watered down and painted with and then dried and um, I'm actually wondering how shiny the actual finished product will look but with them being um, graphite, wood sort of be graphite, I'm assuming that they will be light fast. Um, but I'll be reading up on that before I do an actual review. So all the products that have arrived in this box, it actually arrived last night. And I was really tempted to do the unboxing last night, but I decided to leave it till today when the lighting's better. Um, all the products in this box will be reviewed, but I won't review them straight the way. Because simple reason is I like to get a few little paintings or projects done with each product before I produce a review. And that in that way, I know how well they work and, um, you know, the pros and cons, if there are any cons. And I will be truthful in all of my reviews, obviously, because I don't want to put my name behind something that I wouldn't personally carry on using myself. So you get a little water brush. So... That end has got a little stopper in so you remove that and put it somewhere safe these are great for um they're going to be great for plain air painting so you fill that up with water and then if you're on the go you put that little stopper back in so there you've got your water in a little container it's not going to go anywhere and then when you're ready to paint simply remove that but don't lose it pop it in your pocket or something and this just screws on so you'd actually screw it on, wouldn't you, that way round so your water doesn't spill out. Uh, screw it up. That's it. Take the top off. Let's see if it fits on the end. No, it doesn't. Never mind. So you'd need to put that in your pocket or in somewhere safe, yeah, in your bag or something. 
and then we've got nylon bristles by the feel of it and then all you do is you squeeze the barrel it squeezes the water out runs through to the brush and then you can start painting so if all you have with you is that a little sketchbook that's all you need really because you can wipe your brush up on this little sponge that they've popped in the side let's see if that will fit in there with without the lid let's see if it'll fit in there with the lid Probably not by the looks of it, but uh, you never know. Put the lid back on. No. So you wouldn't be able to travel with it in the pan or within the box like that. You would have to dismantle it, um, put the stopper back on there to store it in your box. So let's just put it back how it came. So unscrew. Pop the little stopper in. If you've got any of these products that I'm unboxing today and you use them, please leave a comment in the comments below. Um, yeah, it'd be great to hear which ones you have, which ones you like, or which ones, you know, what Derwent products you're planning on getting in the future. So that's the Derwent Graffy Tint Paint Pan Set, 12 colours. Okay, pop that back in there, safe. Not that you need to see me pop things back in boxes, but there you go, we'll keep it safe in there. And I'll pop that to one side. Okay, and next. So here we have, this was all cellophane wrapped as well. So nothing was damaged in, in transit. Everything came nicely packaged, very well protected from Derwent. So we have the Derwent mixed media paper in black. Would have been easier to say black mixed media paper, but there you go. A4 size, which is a standard size here in the UK. 12 sheets, 300 grams, that's £140, so an extra weight, and acid free. So it is archival, as long as you use archival products with it. Everything will be archival, meaning it won't fade um, in museum conditions. So let's have a feel. Yep. Can you hear that? Lovely, nice and thick and very smooth actually. So I will be testing the products that I've received today on black and white. So this black paper and um, a white paper that is £140 as well, just to see the opacity, um, transparency, um, lifting qualities and things like that of the products but that's lovely I haven't got any black paper that's mixed media I do have black watercolour paper but not mixed media paper so this is lovely thank you Derwent thank you so we'll pop that to one side too now the last but not least and this was cellophane wrapped as well Derwent ink tents paper so let's have a look at this because I haven't tried this before, so it's very exciting. And it is 100% cotton again, cold pressed this time, which is a slightly textured paper. 20 sheets, brilliant. 300 grams, that's 140 pounds, the same as the black mix media paper. Acid free, natural white. I do like a natural white more than sort of a harsh, bright white easier on the eyes so um, let's take a look yeah i don't know if you can see that but that is te uh, slightly textured cold press so you can feel the texture as well as see it and again wow that's beautiful 140 pounds in weight that's beautiful paper that feels lovely so ink tents paper. So the word ink tents refers to Derwent's water soluble ink paints. Um, I do have some here already, um, already in my stash. So let me show you what ink tents actually is. So I'll just move that to one side a minute. So ink tents is a water soluble ink and it comes in two different varieties by Derwent. Uh, these are the Derwent Ink Tents blocks. I've got the full set of 72. I did purchase these. Um, let's have a look. So they come in two layers. You can buy smaller sets. 
and as you can see they come in blocks lots of different colors little mixing wells and you can use them in a variety of ways you can use them with the stick and just go straight onto your paper with the stick or you can actually just use them like a watercolour block and rub your wet brush across the top of them, mix in the mixing wells, etc. Um, and what it is with ink tents, when it's wet, it, be it behaves like watercolour, but when it's dry, it's permanent like an, like an ink. So it's water soluble ink uh, in block form. These are lovely. So I'm looking forward to trying these on the ink tents paper that they've sent me I'll just put this piece of cardboard back in yes this does look pristine but i have two sets and the other set is uh, well used and this is a backup set i think most artists do that when you start using something a lot it's nice to have um, extra on tap uh, i believe you can buy these open stock so you can buy the indiv individual colors should you run low okay so that's the Derwent Ink Tents Blocks. Oh, it's a Derwent Fest today, isn't it? It's lovely. And Ink Tents again, but this time in pencil form. So 72 pencils, that's the full range. Um, and these are wonderful too. So they're nice, so exactly the same as the Ink Tents Blocks, except pencil form. And as you can see, I really like that colour. That colour is dark purple you can buy these open stock so should you start running low like this one you just wrap you can just buy the uh, replacement individual pencils by derwent and the white is very opaque as well in actual fact the white block is more opaque than the white pencil so yeah all open stock um it can be used with traditional watercolors if you want but just remember that if you're using the derwent ink tents they are permanent when dry you can glaze with them everything you can do more or less with a traditional watercolor you can do with the ink tents but if you want to do lifting and things like that you've got to work quite quickly because as i said when they're dry they're permanent okay Oh, I'm looking forward to using all my Inktense products with this beautiful Inktense paper. Oh, so excited. My heart's hammering, actually. Yeah, if I had a better uh, microphone fitted up to the phone, because I'm recording with my iPhone at the minute, you'd probably hear my heart. <laughs> so excited. So, yeah, so let's uh, just have a quick recap on what they sent me uh, that I've unboxed today. So it's the Inktense paper. And reaching down to the floor the derwent black mixed media paper i'll say it the right way around this time the derwent watercolor pencils tin of 36 the derwent color soft pencils tin of 24 and last but not least the Graffitin paint pan set, 12 colours. So that's water soluble graphite. Right, I better get to work then, hadn't I? <laughs> get some projects done so I can make some reviews. I'll review, I'll do projects with them all. I'll review each individual product at a time for, for YouTube videos and for videos going over onto the Derwent website because they've also invited me to write blogs for them. So that's great too and yeah you'll see me soon you'll see these products in action real soon hit like if you've enjoyed this unboxing if you haven't already then please subscribe it really i really really appreciate it and it helps the algorithms on youtube although nobody understands them <laughs> but there you go and um, i'll be seeing you all soon leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video and if you have derwent products that you enjoy and I'll see you all soon. Stay safe and stay creative. Bye for now. Bye.